In the other video on quadratic functions, we just uh, sort of introduced what a quadratic uh, function graph looks like, this uh, parabola shape you see here on the screen. And uh, in this lesson, what I want to do is play a little bit around with what happens as you change the number, the coefficient of x. So the standard quadratic function, sort of the, the parent of the family, is just y equals x squared. But as you change the number before the x, the coefficient of the x, or the number added after the x, some things happen to the, the shape of the parabola and the location of the parabola. And I want to just sort of give you a little bit of intuition of uh, how that works and what those changes are. So what we're going to do is look at a number of different parabolas using the uh, online Desmos graphing calculator here. And all I've done is take the basic formula y equals x squared and I put another variable in front of it, a. And that a then I told the Desmos calculator to make as a slider. There's just a little button that you type in here. In fact, let me show you that so you can see how it works. If I just type in another variable here, get rid of the slider real quick. If I, if I put in just y equals x squared, you can see it just graphs the function right here um, as the base, the, the parent of the family. If I put another variable in front of it, it asks me if I want to add a slider. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little letter A there, and it'll add that slider. And what that does is let me change the number that's in place of A. Now by default it's just 1, because 1 x squared is just x squared. But as I increase that value, look what happens to the parabola. As this number gets bigger, the number before the x, you can see that the shape of the parabola gets narrower and narrower and narrower. And then as I decrease the number, the parabola gets wider and wider and wider. And as I get down into fractions, it starts to level out until it gets really wide as I get really small. And at 0, it's just flat, because at 0, I end up with just y equals 0. There's no, because I'd have 0 times whatever x is, and it doesn't matter what x is at that point. So we just get a line at y equals 0. And if you want to try this yourself, you can go take a look at the uh, graphing calculator at um, desmos.com. Let me show you. I'll write that address on the screen for you here. www.desmos.com. And it's a free calculator. And if you punch in these, these values here, then you can try a little bit with what happens as this value for A goes negative. Um, because I think that's kind of interesting to see. And then also you can try adding another number over here out on the end. If you put, uh, say, plus b, and then tell it that you want a slider for b, then you can see what happens as you add a value out here on the end. And um, I think the intuition as far as what happens with a quadratic function graph, a parabola, when these numbers change will make the rest of your lessons using quadratic functions uh, quite a bit easier, so I definitely recommend that for you.